Hey, welcome back to what Jack has made. In this video, we're going to be covering SEO and how to implement it into your Gatsby site. So we previously covered in the WordPress chapter that you have access to the SEO information using the Yoast SEO plugin and the WP GraphQL Yoast plugin. So we need to access this information and generate some HTML head tags. And in order to do so, we first want to make sure that in each of our page nodes and post nodes, we're querying the SEO fields that we require. So I'm going to add this to my pages and give it a refresh. And essentially what this will do is it'll go up to our SEO fields and it will query the field group and pull out the SEO title and keywords and meta descriptions and all the nice bits that we need to be generating our SEO component. Um, so this will get passed into our component template for page as page context into our base template. And then if we go into our base template, we have an SEO component which passes in the context as a data prop. We're going to rework this and um, make it a bit nicer in the future. But for now, I believe that should pass the information we need. So while Gatsby is still firing up, I'll add in a console log so that whenever we hit a page, when we generate the SEO component, we can have a look at the props that are being generated for that page. And then I'll run through the component with you as soon as we can confirm that we're getting the information that we need. So when we log our data, we are getting a data object which has access to our SEO information. So if we go ahead and go into our SEO component, we want to destructure data from props. So we can do that immediately and then destructure all of this information from data.seo. And I think that might need to be wrapped. Yep, cool. So now if we go to our home page, you can see that instead of localhost as the title, we're now getting Jack uh, Pritchard Hampshire website developer, which probably needs to be changed to Bournemouth. So this is our SEO component. And essentially what we're doing is we're passing in the SEO data as a prop and then using it to generate our own HTML uh, head tags that will give social media platforms information about what images to show in the preview, what title and description the page should have. And yeah, generally we're just populating it. If we have a Twitter title specified, we use the Twitter title. If not, pull back to the standard open graph title that we're using. And if that's not available, then we just use the standard title. Um, so that is from a previous setup. Let me just pop that in. So using all the information in this component, we are generating um, on the fly different HTML head tags, as you can see the about title. But then when we, when we go to a homepage, we have a different title. And this is the same for any of our blog posts as well. So if we went to the 404, and then went into creating accessible colors. You can see our title is different depending on what blog posts are on. And yeah, that's essentially it. We're pulling in the Yoast SEO information and using it to dynamically generate some HTML head tags.